Uh, hello everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the upcount encounter in the CADSYS environment and how you can display uh, the value of different variables on a graph. Uh, to get started, I'm going to place a counter, up, upcount encounter from here in the function blocks section. If you drag the CTU and drop it here, we, we can declare the, the counter as CTU underline zero. And now we need to determine the counting up contact and counting down, uh, the counting up contact variable and the variable or contact for resetting it and the pre preset value. For the preset value, I will set five. Let's remove this question marks from the current current value. For counting up, I will create a variable which which is called switch. It will be a boolean variable. For resetting it, I will use another variable with the name of reset. This is again a boolean. Each time that I provide the false to true signal at the switch, the value of the counter will increase by one. Then in the visualization, uh, in order to display it on a graph, it is to display different values on the graph, we can find it from, uh, so it's called trace in the spatial control section. You can insert a trace here. Yeah? And then we we can determine which variables we need to be displayed on the trace. To do it, you can either right click on, on it and select the configure trace or select it from here as well. So you can double click on this section and then this window will be opened for you. For the task, you can select the main task. And then from here, we can add the variables that we want to be uh, to be displayed yeah, during the, the process. Uh, then we need here to determine the variable that we want to be shown. Here in the application, in the PSC program, uh, we can have switch to be displayed. So we will have each time that switch is, this, switch is pressed, we will have one and we will have zero for that. Here you can determine the color and some other specifications. Let's add another variable as well. Uh, this time I'm going to add the, the current value of the counter, another variable which can be the preset value of the counter. All right, for the output of the counter, I'm going to use the pilot lamp. That's all. This is the simplest way of uh, configuring the trace. There are a lot of uh, other configurations which could be done, but for now, let's keep it as simple as possible. Uh, now let's place a lamp here as well and associate it with the, uh, with the output of the counter. All right. Uh, yes, we need to place two, uh, two switches for the switch and for the reset variables. I'm going to use the normal deep switch, one for, for the switch and another one for the resetting. So the second one, in, the one in below is used for resetting the, the counter. That's all. Let's save it. Save the project. Log in. We are in the simulation mode, so we don't connect to any PSC. And then, yeah, let's run the program. So here, each time that I press and release the the start, the switch, you can see in a red color the value in the the current value of the counter is displayed here. The blue one is for the switch, and the red one is the, the preset value. So now the preset value and the accumulated value, or the current value of the counter are the same, or, or now it's even more. And we see that the output of the counter is turned on. And here still we see the graph, in the graph, we, we see this, the value coming from the switch, the value at the preset value and the value in the current value of the counter. So now it's again increasing. And if I press the reset, the current value will become yeah, zero. 
now it really starts from zero it it can be increased and yeah that that's how the counter works but in this video you you see how you can configure the the trace element to display uh, some variables which are changing over time uh, as as a graph all right that that's all for this video i hope this will help you in analyzing and in, in developing uh, more complicated uh, PSE codes. Thank you for watching again.